Hey YouTube and welcome to Sparks and Vaults and as you can see she's back out of hibernation ready to go on a lovely summer's day in the UK finally we've waited long enough and it's time to take out the SL350 for a nice little spin just going to bring you guys along with us I hope you enjoy the video let's get some shots of the car Definitely going to go for some top down driving today. There you go. Guys. It's been a long time coming. Wanted to do this for a long, long time. Literally haven't driven the car for, I think about six months now. But I can't think of better weather, especially in the UK. Definitely a good day to take it out. got the roof down so I don't know how much you're gonna be able to hear me hopefully it doesn't completely ruin the video but um, yeah I really wanted to have the roof down whilst driving today oh, it feels so good to be back in the car just everything from that like slightly heavy hydraulic steering that clean v6 sound my brother just had the interior cleaned as well, so it's looking absolutely gorgeous. So guys, before I forget, there has been some drama with this car. So uh, if you watched my first video on this car, you'd know that the C pillars are leaking. So uh, basically rain and water's getting into the boot. Now when she was left to hibernate, my brother put a car cover over her and uh, when it came to removing the cover there was mold all over the interior all over I'm talking about the seat belts all over the lever all over the seats all over the steering wheel now uh, we left the car open for a few hours in in the Sun and then took it to uh, a car wash where they do the inside and yeah it was made like brand new but if you've got a leaking C pillar, because it is a very common car, uh, common problem in these cars, just bear that in mind. We've got quite a nice road here, so I'm going to shut up. Well, I really hope you can hear that and not just wind noise. Good little drive man, a good little drive. I've missed this, I've missed this so much. I got quite a lot of positive feedback from my first video on this car, which, you know, was really satisfying for me. This, the SLs have a big fan base out there. I thought I was one of the only ones, but uh, yeah, even the 350s and just so many positive comments so thanks a lot for that guys I really do appreciate it and just even when you lot tell me about your experiences with these cars and and why you love them it's just great to see great to see they are the SL family they are just the best best cars ever made All right, let's try and get a sound shot with the roof down Your, let me know in the comments guys what uh, your favorite route for your 
RT30SLs are. Let me know what engine it is that you have, what model, sorry. And uh, what's your favorite thing about the cars? Mine certainly is driving with the roof down. <laughs> I'm really intrigued to know what the uh, bigger engine models with the ABC suspension feel like because uh, this honestly this car is so comfortable it's one of the things that always sticks out to me how smooth it is um, but obviously that ABC just must be a, another level I'd be really really keen to know to to feel that for myself and Maybe it's not actually worth the difference, God knows. Only one way to find out, really. So guys, uh, especially the SL fans out there, um, it seems like it's pretty much certain that the new generation's gonna have a 73 hybrid system. I mean, that's just crazy. Imagine the numbers that's gonna be pulling out. I think it's going to be the 4 litre V8 with an electric engine as well. So no turbo lag, it's just, I mean that's going to give supercars a run for the money. That is going to be, I, I can't wait. I was a bit sceptical about the new SL obviously being a soft top and I mean that just for me kind of ruins it but that 73 version that is going to be something to look out for. I can't lie as well, like the uh, pictures that are coming out on the internet of what everyone thinks it's going to look like, looks pretty beautiful as well, even for a soft top. Look at this, beautiful.
Right guys, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, lovely drive on a sunny day with me. I certainly have enjoyed it, really missed this and um, it's good to do it again. Reminds me of why I love cars so much, especially this car. And uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and uh, join us on the next one. Take care.